One day he'll come along, Ooh. the man I love, and See. he'll be Colin Bridge. Er Todd. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessa. And I'm Alex. And this is Jess and Alex Watch. Richardson, season three, episode four. Old friends. What do you, you say, old friends? Are we okay, old friends? Guess that depends who you ask. But us, old friends, what's to discuss, old friends? That's a really good show. You should go see it. Good show. It's closing in July. Hurry. Last episode. We were in transition. Yeah. Okay. They steamed us up with a kiss they and did. then pulled, reeled us on oh, back. We didn't even talk about Colin's little... Oh, his, his, little, his little nocturnal dream. <laughs> And then he just stood with that goony expression on his face the whole episode looking at Penelope. Which and I liked it. And I was into it. Good. And I liked good. it. That was correct. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here's what I love about Colin. Is that as long as he loves Penelope, he's a big fan. I'm a big fan. Exactly. Because uh, she deserves the world. Exactly. Exactly. And I believe she definitely deserves two men fighting over her. Yeah. I don't know what I said at the end of our last um, our last season of Bridgerton, and I, but I think what I, exactly what is happening now is what I wanted to happen. Mm. Like I just think they've done such a good job, yeah, saving this couple for me. Yeah, I'm so impressed by it. Um, I was saying this off camera, but um, Eloise and um, Cressida were very platonic last episode. Yeah. I think and maybe that ship has sailed. Okay. Cressida oh. was very focused on winning the vegetarian. Yeah, but she doesn't like him. No, she doesn't. She doesn't, she doesn't like him, Mooney. Mooney, she doesn't like him. What if she liked Eloise? What if her parents make her wear those big sleeves so she won't stand too close to a woman? <laughs> That's probably what it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> the delusion <laughs> i'm a pisces <laughs> <laughs> eloise has also been looking absolutely stunning this season yeah just like beautiful and like what i really care about with eloise is that she's friends with pen again yes because yes. they're like they're little like will they won't they be friends again this right. season is actually really good too yeah oh. Also, just like every single episode, Eloise wandering around, like trying to talk to people and be like, oh, these people are so boring. You're like, at this point, I don't know. I feel like you and and Penelope have both apologized to each other. So like, you're just delaying things for no reason. Like, yeah, like you've already forgiven her. Right. You care about her well-being. Yeah. You came to check on her, Eloise. Yeah. Come on. I think it's it's time. Be the bigger woman. I mean, actually, Penelope's already done that because she's already tried to be friends with you again. Right. So it's time to wrap it up, suck it up, be friends again. Yeah. Francesca, keep trucking. I believe in keep you. Keep having cute, silent conversations with exactly. that man. Exactly. I have bought you a plant so that you might continue to enjoy nature from That's the really cute. I shall have to pick up Mr. Bridgerton's mantle of assistance. They were doing fine. Yeah. Good day. Ah. We're so pleased to have you. She's so happy that her sisters get to see her in this moment. I suppose I mostly just enjoy the view. She's full Cinderella in this outfit. Mm -hmm. I'm rather tired of it. Mm. And I'm very glad to be here with you. Well handled, Miss Penn. Well, if I am there, I will surely eat all of the biscuits and leave none for the Marquis. Right. Sir? At last night's ball, when you were asking about friendship and whether it can blossom into love... She's so exhausted already. But it was purely a speculative question. I simply want the best for... The hope in her eyes that she wouldn't have to, like, do yeah, this game yeah. with one more child. You are my solicitor. Although whether you remain so depends on what you say next. She's like not intervening with Benedict. <laughs> no. <laughs> she said he'll figure it out. <laughs> she said he's an artist. 
I do not wish to be called on. Is it our mind? What? I could have never expected this to happen. It's also like, it's not that a widow story can't be interesting, but when she's already over the husband, yeah. then there's no like propriety or anything that we're like trying to keep. Like there's no steam. There's right. no heat there. It's just someone he can have sex with. Right. So, so he will. You must forgive me for performing for the room. Mm. To meet with as many ladies as you might like. <laughs> Oof, we are not friends. What is the drama, Lady Danbury? One person in whom thought and feeling are united. I watched an interview with the Queen where she was like, one time one of the dogs peed on me and then the next dogs had to mark their territory and then another dog had to mark their territory and so five dogs peed on me in one shot. And I was like, wow. that's horrible. Wow. And a chance, perhaps, to secure our match for Miss Francesca? I I do think they've given us just enough winks and nods to uh, Queen Charlotte that it's, like, not overdone. And it's yeah. really sweet. Like, I, that relationship was really cute in that show. And I'm glad that they've continued it here, but they haven't forced it down our throats. Yeah. There is a caller here. Yes, bring him in. <laughs> <laughs> she said, please, let me get rid of... Francesca. <laughs> oh. Oh. Lord Samadani, welcome. Our nope. cook has prepared some milfoy in anticipation of your arrival. Oh, this is not Lord Somebody Samadani. get a handle. Somebody get a handle on Hyacinth. <laughs> I am here to call upon one of your daughters, if I may. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you sniff like that, Eloise? John Sterling, Earl of Kilmartin. It is a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is mine. Is that his name? Is that his name? Is that his name? May I join you a moment? I should like that. Cute. Oh, no. the, the, the fact that mom is like, clue, clue doesn't Just, know her at all. No. Why am no, I so sweaty so over them? <gasps> A perfect use of the pain. Yeah. I am in awe. I thought one had to use wit or banter to dissuade a suitor, but simple silence was radically more effective. Eloise. How will they know each other if they do not speak? Why don't you know your child? Good day. Oh. Her sitting like this and just staring at him. <laughs> so cute. I'm keeping my club. Keep plenty of rich men stay at their own clubs. Just like, ah, oh, don't serve, maybe. Exactly. You're essentially the primary investor now. Yeah, watch Gossip Girl. Um, yeah. What's his name? Does it all the time. Exactly. Walk through predecessor, Gossip Girl. <laughs> exactly. Mama, we're in a library. For once, you must allow me to look at a book. I <laughs> Men love to explain the world to us. If She's not wrong. <laughs> I have a collection of over a thousand myself. Nothing a book loves more than to be collected. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eloise. <laughs> Perhaps you might grace us tomorrow night with your presence if you were not busy fending off admirers. No, you guys suck. We don't need to be friends with you at all. You, s yeah, puppy. <laughs> Not him looking in the mirror to watch Pen. Pen, Pen, you're stirring, Pen. In truth, I find myself drawn back time and time again to stories of love. Me. <laughs> and what is it about those stories? It might just stirring tale or books of fact, but I really love love. Love is love is love. <laughs> Are there any novels in which the man goes traveling for a very long time and his wife is happy to stay behind tending the estate? I suppose that would not be a book with much sentiment, would it? Yeah, it's not very romantic. But if the wife did have her own interests in life, then perhaps they could both be very happy. If the wife was a secret author. <laughs> 
if, if, if you were writing the book, that is. Well, I suppose he... He definitely, like, him. needs a camper. I see. <laughs> yeah, like, someone who wants to go on his expeditions with him would probably be for the best. I think you would have to read the book. I mean, honestly, it's a classic marriage of convenience setup yeah. is the thing. Yeah, like, I... In another world, this would be a cute ship where right. they could fall in love. So you would prefer to watch? You have already paid. Wow, he's Sorry. so into pen, but mm -hmm. that kiss really messed you up. They're rather reserved and functional to keep to themselves. <laughs> Are you interested in him? Are you stopping to speak with us just to be polite? <laughs> believe you stopped me oh no you guys should not talk to each other enjoyable music a song like this would be far sweeter if it were played in three fourths and one could in fact feel the music that is helpful if you'll excuse me to answer your question, no, I'm not interested in him. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems so. A visitor for Miss Cowper, my lady. It is calling hour, Miss Bridgerton. And I should like to call on Miss Cowper a moment, if that is allowed. I would like to call. She came during calling hour. Miss Bridgerton, if I may speak to my daughter. Okay, well, she doesn't have any callers, so let her talk to her friend. You are not to be seen with that Bridgerton girl. Any Why? Longer. She's a woman of high society. Her family has had the best matches for the last couple of years. I said I could do a lot worse than a Bridgerton. On my grand tour, I encountered this Greek girl in the Balkans. <laughs> my bear leader. Colin, the other get way while better we friends. Hang out with Benedict. That right. was really cute last season. Right. We were actually starting to see a little of your personality. This is bad. <laughs> I'm sure the girls of summer made your trip quite fulfilling. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you my story. Of he the thinks contact. that's fly when girls stop by for the summer. Stop. For the summer. <laughs> <laughs> now I can care with you there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> no. Tiring, is it not? The necessity imposed on us to remain cavalier about the one thing in life that holds genuine meaning. Do you not find it lonely? <laughs> no, they're bad people, Colin. Make new friends. They don't think society imposes this on them. This is how they are. You know, I think I do know Colin's personality. He's like... If he were in modern day, he would be like the theater, the straight theater boy that has all friends that are girls. Mm. But like because of this and like because of his fight with Pin, he like has no one to hang out with. He's yeah, like, I have to hang out with these jerks. And society told me I was supposed to like be into sex and everything. But like from season one, he's like been a heart boy. That's true. That's true. He's a sweetie. He's hang out with Benedict and Eloise yeah. or Penelope. Miss Featherington. Is he about to propose? In episode four? Can you imagine the kind of influence that will give you? The kind of influence it will give all of us. <laughs> Penelope has always been her favorite daughter. Well, yes. Do not become greedy in your success. What more could you want? I mean, she's not wrong. Yeah, like, yeah her mom's right. This is actually a good match. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the very reason why I discourage you from reading. <laughs> Love is make believe. It's only in your storybooks. Do you know what is romantic security? She's like not wrong here. This is quite you good can't advice. Sit the there book. and tell me that marriage is not an economic position position because it is. It is only a shame. You might miss the fruits of your labors. I hear Penelope may be getting a proposal tonight. Suddenly, um, this hangover not so bad. 
I do hope you feel better. Violet. <laughs> she said, I do hope you feel better. <laughs> Excuse me? me? What kind of animatronics were invented? Wait, there's like a flickering light in it too. Will inspire my lovers to <laughs> I'm actually obsessed with it. They actually did have like clockworks yeah. that were a thing. You put clockworks in that wig. Exactly. I just I feel like the queen should have had better taste. Why didn't she bring her prince back? Yeah. Did well, he's he probably married? married. Hopefully to Edwina. Yeah. My sister likes to meddle. Oh, in truth, that word does not do her justice. Do you not, Lady Danbury? <laughs> You do not know that about her? We are... Estranged. Becoming reacquainted. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> My daughter, Francesca. Ah. Uh. Though I am not certain she has yet found that spark. What about the man she flung herself into the path of at the street? The one she stared at longingly. Perhaps this has opened the door to a friendlier alliance between the gossiper and the crown. You're looking up the <laughs> You know, it's so good. It has wallpaper yeah, in there. Yeah, it sure does. You must join us. Literally every time they bring her back, I forget that she was ever in the show. You know who she looks like, though? Indeed. Uh, what's her name? I'd say. It is a pleasure. In but... The Sound of Music. <laughs> the Baroness. Yes. The Baroness the Baroness Baron 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 he certainly could have put on a shirt. Could not agree more. <laughs> Nothing worse than a state of undress. Uh, oh, ma'am! How do you see things exactly? Well, since you have asked. Okay, the camera certainly ships them. And as the candle went out. So did his will to stay. Come, let me. Stop. <laughs> I uh, beg them to stop Bridgerton with their flashbacks. I hear you're something of a molder of society, and I keep meeting the most intriguing woman. But I ask that you leave me out of your raking about town. I am afraid I am rather parched from dancing with Lord Samadani. So much so that I do not feel much like talking. Oh, is that not in fact our preferred form of communication? You must forgive me for rushing off abruptly last time you met. It is only that I wanted to get you this. He rewrote the, he re he rewrote the music. I am not a man of many words. And the words I do have, I'm afraid they're not very good. But I do believe in the power of a gesture. Lord Samadani? Lord Kilmartin. What is happening? I believe Lord Samadani was fetching Miss Francesca lemonade. And now she is... Not drinking the lemonade. <laughs> she is not drinking the lemonade. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, Francesca is not your diamond. Oh, you're giving me a pain in my chest. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> In fact, I have been tender all week. Oh no, mm. you're deaf pregnant, babe. Are you mocking me? My chest has been sore non-stop. They are pregnant with girls. Both mm -hmm. of them. <sighs> <laughs> they are used perfectly <laughs> this season. They are. No notes. <laughs> Fashionably late. In truth, it is not worth it. Come out with us. No. Though this time we are going drinking at White's instead of that dreadful... I literally bar. can't tell you and the guy next to you apart. Also, go to Mondridge. It's a great bar. Everything all right, Miss Featherington? Everything is wonderful. She's I'm glad to hear it. Panicking. <laughs> May I ask you a question, my lord? Anything. I feel, like, constricted for her. When you just know something's not quite right, even yeah. though it's like the right thing you should do. Yeah. Love me when they grow. I do not know. To be honest, my work has such a large portion of my heart. In so you don't have room to love someone? Why would you say that before you're about to propose? To be fair, that's exactly what Anthony did to Kate in the book. 
he was like, I'm going to marry you because we got caught apparently making out. But just FYI, I will never love you. Okay, Anthony. Your brother is walking right up to Penelope and Lord Debling. Do you mind if I interrupt? Oh, my. It should only take a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it appears you two have something to resolve. Oh. I shall leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> we shall return to this conversation another time. Yes? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Eloise. I would be more than happy to finish your dance with you if we need a partner. <laughs> okay, but hear me out. If he's away all the time, then she, she gets a girlfriend. That's true. Oh, I think he's leaving for three years. I know that already, Colin. It takes a year alone to get where he's going. I, I do think it's a big ask for someone to you've just married to then not see you for three years. 100%. Shall we return to our conversation? Miss Featherington, why is it you sit at your drawing room window so often? Uh oh. All week I've watched you search for someone. I thought you might have had a falling out with Mr. Bridgerton. But now I suspect you may have been searching for him for a very different reason. Mm -hmm. For the same reason you prefer your drawing room window and the view it affords out towards the house. Okay, but why do you care if you're not in for a love match? That's true, that's true. Like, you can't be like, I'm going to fuck off for three years and then also be jealous of her best friend. Colin Bridgerton would never, ever have feelings for me. It is laughable to think as much. We are friends. Nothing more. But would you like it to be more? I do not. That is not even. Oh, Pen, do better. Miss Featherington, with the amount of time I will be gone, it is essential I make a match with someone whose affections are not already engaged elsewhere. That is fair. Do I only matter to you if I have a Lord's engagement ring on my finger? Yes. Mama, I am pregnant. I think. <laughs> Your little walk. <laughs> then you don't deserve her. <laughs> Strong Ever After vibes. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Especially in that dress. Mm hmm Run. What is their conflict? What's gonna happen? <laughs> oh. And when one chooses the heart over the head, often all reason goes out of the window. Why do you look con- Oh, because of the queen. Penelope. Let me in. Okay, Colin. What do you want? Did Lord Debling propose? Well, no. When I asked for your help in finding a husband, I did not realize that also meant you might try to deny me one as well. It is my business because I care about you. You cannot marry that man. He will leave you and he is too particular. Now, will you please let us ride home in silence and leave me alone? I cannot. Please. I cannot. Because. Because why, Colin? What if I did have feelings for you? So do I. I have spent so long trying to feel less. Two days, but. And for a moment. I thought I had succeeded, but these past few weeks have been Oh no, full he means this life struggle. Feelings like dreaming of you when I'm asleep, and in fact preferring when sleep because that is where I might find you. Oh. <laughs> Please. Do not say things you do not mean. It seems like he means it, Penelope. Forgive me, um, I do not know what I was thinking. Pen. Kiss that boy. I'd very much like to be more than friends. <laughs> so much more. Oh. Boy, we are definitely in for some nasty drama in the back half of this season. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> because...
Um, it's very puppy dog, and mm-hmm. I did enjoy. Did enjoy a little a little hair pulling. I yeah. saw that. Uh huh. Guys, how long does it take to get to Richard's house? <laughs> Also, make sure you're quiet because we did establish the coachman can hear you clearly. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> the coachman is rooting for Penn. Guys! It's a pretty good proposal. The- Use me. <sighs> Embarrassed. Embarrassed. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Could the carriage driver not keep on driving? <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're so cute. They have such good chemistry. It's not paying much attention to anything. <laughs> He needs to stop looking at her like that. Okay, but good, because Penn's a freak. Loki, she doesn't care. She that's doesn't true, give a that's shit. True, that's true. She's, a, she's all about the sneaking around. Yeah. So I think it makes sense that she's like, yeah, I don't give a shit about my propriety or whatever. Your family will see me. For God's sake, Penelope Featherington, are you going to marry me or not? Oh. Things are really going to explode. No, no, no. We're going to live in the happy <laughs> bubble. I, I ship in it. Yep, yep. I need more of that little hair pulling. That was that was good. See, see, we did say we wanted Colin on a leash this yeah, season. Yeah, 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 yeah. I That dynamic works for me it's a yes it's a big yes mm-hmm. and it works for him too correct in fact we said that when we were like like watching in season one i mm-hmm. think like mm-hmm. off camera like yeah. you and i were like he needs because i think we were actually shipping him with a, a widow or something we were oh. like he needs like an older woman oh, because he needs yeah. to be washed around yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. pen is doing just fine yeah i mean look she's a lady with her own business yeah she doesn't need him it, it, and I like that it was him groveling and running for the carriage. Yeah, yeah, she, it was she good. She got the princess treatment. She did. Um, in the preview, it looks like we're going all in on the Lady Whistledown reveal and drama. He, it, it, that's been set from the beginning. So I think that's good drama for yeah. them because like, like, it it ruined things with Marina, right? Like that that is a crime against Colin too. Yeah, because it was he was. I know she arguably was doing it to save him mm-hmm. because Marina was going to baby trap him. Yeah, but it, that's she not why just, she did it, and she could have just told him she didn't Correct. have to publish it. Right. But she knew that Colin was a good person. Yeah. So if if she had just told Colin, he would have married her. Right. Yeah. That was... It was deviant. It was a little fem cell of Penn mm-hmm. there. <laughs> Let's not make that a thing. <laughs> not her best moment. It was not, it was not her best. And then the Eloise thing was certainly not her best. Yeah. Um, could have, because like that one too, she easily could have fallen on her own sword. Like she said, she did it to save Penelope, uh, to save Eloise. But what she did was save her own skin, right? Because like the easy way to have protected Eloise was to like out herself as right. Lady Whistledown. That's very true. That's true. That's true. Chickens roosts. It's bad. It's not good. But. However, I am here for this drama. Oh, it's going to be some good romantic angst. Well, right. I still hope she... We're doing so much about babies. I still... I think they have sex tonight. And mm. it like here. Like yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah. 
tonight when you're watching this they had sex <laughs> um no like that night yeah when he like takes her to the Bridgerton estate crazy by the way to enter through the front door like right. the footman knows the coachman knows yeah go on over to the Featherington <laughs> no one gets out um are you gonna marry me or not cute um cuties but um if they have sex tonight i do think she's gonna be pregnant with a boy that's a that's my big theory yeah which i mean colin needs an estate like he needs his own yeah money so that works yeah and we'll know in just a couple of weeks it's really not that long it's still too long for me i mean it's like better for us personally for the channel that they did it this way but i do want to know what happens next francesca's little man oh he's so cute got some music for her i i'm just speaking of drama happening in the back half like if all of this swooniness is happening in pen's story what happens in hers what messes this up looney what messes it up is he penniless or obscure, plain and little. Is he already married? We shall see. Or if you already read the book. So this they're following her plot, like this all happens in her book, or does it happen in Penn's book? Nothing that has happened contradicts Francesca's book. Jessa won't spoil for me. It's very disappointing. You want it to be better seen on camera. Yeah. But Lo- I'm not in the shot. I know I'm not in the shot. Looney. I guess you'll catch us next time. Thank you for watching. Please um, subscribe to our channel. Like this video. Comment down below all your thoughts. Unless you've read the books, then don't spoil anything for us. <laughs> and let me know if you ship Eloise and Cressida <laughs> as much as I do. Because, um... Eloise showing up at courting time is a power move. True, true. Bye.